Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> traveling to another system. You're traveling to another dimension and time and space. And perhaps audio. We can't be sure because, damn. <clears throat> what the hell is going on here? Okay. Why was CPU at a hundred? Jesus. Why are 19 processes open and... Okay, you know what? Alright, I'm gonna... Okay, Theorem is the place I gotta go to. Some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. All right. 
Okay, we're two away from level 12. Or rather, 200 away from level 12. We're not far away.
Thirty-five, five. Wow, got about a thousand to go. <laughs> I'm gonna hit. I think if I get out and shoot them, they're probably worth more, but...
Where are we at? <clears throat> 34, 8, and 35, 5. Not bad. Thirty-five. Wow, just less than five hundred to go. Right. Let's move on up.
Oh shit! Oh shit! God damn it. Okay. That was on me. That was on me.
That was intense. 42, 9, and 37. Okay. Possible I could get to... Possible. Okay, I can't save. But it's possible. However unlikely, it is possible that I could end up getting to level... Oh, man. formed around the ruin after it was built there we go Hang on, I gotta check a thing. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, crap.
time hopefully I don't die <laughs> That's definitely Liar. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benizia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth <coughs> showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier.
How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Damn it! God damn it! No! 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 Shit! He ran at me. I wasn't expecting that. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can.
fucking damn it! Oh, you Krogan piece of shit! Spare the assault. Fucking damn it, Rex. There we go. Sometimes Rex just too close, steps Commander. In your way. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. 
It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, <coughs> dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. <laughs> We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. The air is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Hey, there we go. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna go use the ooh, level 14. Look at that. Look at that good stuff. Ooh, wait. Restores dead squad members with 30% health and 50% shields. There we go. Advanced unity, 40% health, 75% shields. Master unity, 50% health, 100% shields. There we go. That's what I need. That's what I need. All right. Working on that. Screw the council. Hey, Fenris. What's up, man? 
The more active my chat. See, everybody's like, oh, you want a bunch of views. No, I don't want a bunch of views. I want an active chat. I want a very active chat. That's what I want. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. I have to use the restroom.
Alrighty. <clears throat> so. Uh, there is something that I would like you to test for me. If at all possible. I recently made a bunch of uh, sound alerts that were available for bits they are now available they're in the same category but you can redeem them for zero bits and many of them are subscriber only but they are redeemable for zero bits and many of them are new ones for Mass Effect so I've added new ones in there for you to enjoy and I'm curious if you can activate them um I changed some of the destiny ones over to um, to zero bits on some of them too now there are some that are of course um, still uh, require you to pay bits for but there are many that do not require any bits it straight up says zero bits so there you go I have made plenty of them free so let me know if you can redeem those very much be interested in knowing how those work I'm going to run around and talk to people now. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite stream on the Twitch. <laughs> hey, Revan. <laughs> Let's go. I think you big stupid jellyfish is also one of them. Or you big dumb jellyfish. <laughs> Big dumb jellyfish. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Mm hmm. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Mm -hmm. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever Definitely I can gonna to help stop Saren. Definitely gonna romance Liara this one. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. Mm. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. 
She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. You I have not big, to stupid me. jellyfish. I know her. <laughs> Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems <laughs> few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Go ahead, Revan. I'm waiting on it. <laughs> Unless there's a report to the there. ship as soon as possible. We're bang, okay? That's what I was waiting on. I knew it. <laughs> I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? I knew it. Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. <laughs> Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. You Asari lived for a thousand years. What happens when your partner died? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Mm. That's beautiful. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Venezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Hmm. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. Mm. It is possible Venezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose ah, her partner? Crap, crap. She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you... I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home world. 
And now for the meeting. Wait for a bit. I'm in the middle of some calibrations. There we go. Ah, boy. I believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit. I am what is. It is possible Benezia's part. I cannot answer. Benezia never. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches mature. We would. My. Although we seek to understand other species. It's like what? Most. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Do you know why? I, maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater. This hurts you. None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Vanessa. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long forgotten Prothean ruins. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Hmm. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in the lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to have. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Mm. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I no. should go. Goodbye, mm. Shepard. No! It's utterly cute and adorable. No, I will pretend this conversation happened all the time. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an alliance? I, I, but humanity I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> Anything you need, Commander? Report to the ship as soon as possible. Bang, okay? Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko. When it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get back up from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Rot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance. <clears throat> Last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics 
could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero. Ezo! brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suit show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades, right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle to get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then. Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart. Charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Do you know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the mids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your Commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Mm. <clears throat> I think this time I really will keep Caden alive. I've always killed him. Um, Ashley's always been a bitch. I made my peace with Ashley, but I think I'll keep Caden alive. He's a good guy. <laughs> Let Ashley die. I've always killed Caden. Always. About time I let him him survive. All right. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander.
Okay. <clears throat> Master gear. Whew. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. All right. <clears throat> First other time, uh, every other time she dies. I've kept Ashley strictly for the romance option. Every other time she dies. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. Huh. You bet, Commander. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta go. Commander. Jesus. Wait, okay, 51,000 and I'm at 43. Okay, it's gonna be a while. Wait, why is why is Mass Effect suddenly okay? Okay, I'm gonna have to get her some better shit soon.
Alright, I'm about to jump into a car, I think. Yeah. What up? Y'all still running Gambit? Mmm. I've decided that I am going to let Ashley die this time. I'm finally going to do a run where I let Caden live. I have always killed Caden, and I'm like, you know what? He's a good guy. I'm going to let him live for once. <clears throat> I've never done a Mass Effect 1 run uh, and killed Ashley. It's about time. Hmm? Bro, you should really do it. It's a good game. Like, like, do you like the lure of destiny? Like, the story of destiny? Are you into it? Okay. Uh, then I guarantee you, you are going to very much enjoy uh, Mass Effect because it is the original sci-fi space opera. Like, the story of Mass Effect is kind of where, if it was not for Mass Effect, we would not be getting, like, destiny like before Bioware and EA kind of decided to ruin themselves this was when they were at the top of their game up until probably the last 10 minutes of Mass Effect 3 uh, Mass Effect 1 2 and 3 were freaking phenomenal and you can get all three of those games by just purchasing the legendary edition of Mass Effect uh, at just one price. It's like the price of a regular ass game and you can get all three of them. Absolutely worth it. I would suggest getting it on Steam so you can get the mods later because uh, play it all the way through on your, uh, on your own. And um, for the most part, up until the end of Mass Effect 3, your choices actually do matter. So the choices that you make in the first game affect the second game and the choices that you make in the second game affect the third game so the choices in one affect two and three for the most part until the end of three and so yeah the decisions that you make affect uh the outcome of one two and most of three and it really is really really cool it's very well-built world, rich, interesting characters and species and stuff. I don't want to give too much away because learning about the game is honestly a lot of the fun. Um, you'll have to keep in mind that this, especially the first game, the gameplay will feel a little old and kind of a little bit wonky at times because it did come out in like 2008. So even though it has been updated, some of the gameplay is going to feel a little bit old. But that doesn't necessarily make it bad. It's still fun. It is still kind of a third-person shooter. That doesn't make it bad. Uh, the RPG elements of it, still a lot of fun. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I would say it's a lot of fun to watch other people play, but because but considering how much it is a choice-based game, a lot of the fun is playing it yourself. I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. Not to mention that the voice cast is fucking stellar. Your boots out of the fire. Probably my favorite thing about this game is Joker the pilot of your ship for all three games voiced by Seth Green. Right? Seth Green. Right. Yeah. He just, he plays a fucking fantastic character. Yeah. He is very much your Cade 6. The, he is, he is your wisecracking, lovable, uh, idiot with a heart of gold that you are going to love the most um they're not going to take him from you 
he's gonna be with you. So, not quite your cage six, but he's gonna be your he's gonna be your MVP character, even if he's not like a playable character, you know. But definitely that guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do it right now. No, no, no. All right, man. Later. Kirby, you headed out too? <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. Well, you have a good one. Bye. Hello, Revan. I'm really surprised that Vincent has not played Mass Effect. That's kind of surprising to me. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I have to go. All right, see ya. He talks a lot of shit. I love that. I think that's the best way to describe Joker. To someone who has not played Destiny, who has not played Mass Effect, yeah. But as someone who's played Destiny, it's spot on. He's the Cade Six, but without the getting killed part. Alright, we're headed to Seoul. Back to the local cluster, baby. Headed to the Seoul system. I hate that it does that. I absolutely hate that it does that. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Hey look, it's Earth! My very eager planet just my very eager mother just served Saturn us Uranus nine Neptune pizzas they let us have Pluto oh good you look at you Luna! There's a thing going on on Luna. You'd think that after re-releasing the game, they'd optimize the game. Right? Right? Thank you, Heathander. Thank you for that. But no. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. I think this is the rogue VI thing we were talking about.
Future was such a Sonic fan, they made a VI for her. Oh no! Sonic! Sonic the Hedgehog! Let's go, Sonic! Oh no, we're bathed in the earth light.
bunched up. we go. And just like that, we're good. Thank you. 
the Century System in the Hawking Century System in the Hawking Etta Cluster. <coughs> <coughs> Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Etta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. <laughs> you said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. You served with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. <laughs> I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out.
<clears throat> One of these days, I'm going to be able to get a hold of Calvin. Okay, winter weather.
Are you kidding me? <clears throat> That's why I hate the Mako! Everybody's sitting here like, oh, the Mako's so good! Fuck the Mako! The Mako sucks! Mako can't even climb! The Mako's shit! Yeah, right? I'm a Hammerhead fan, too. Mass Effect 2 had the better vehicle. They're all like, oh, the Mako, the Mako. Fuck the Mako. Hammerhead was a much better design. I'm sorry. Everybody that, like, they cry about this thing or that thing, and it wasn't even that good. Securing point. <clears throat> Howling for the moon. That's all they were doing. Crying for the moon.
This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Yeah, but will the will that Mass Effect One stuff actually um <clears throat> Does that work for the Legendary Edition is the difference. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. Because <clears throat> I have a lot of mods for Mass 1. Uh, Mass 1, Mass 2, and Mass 3, I just... Waited for a while for the Legendary Edition. Also, I'm playing normally 
I'm not doing the uh, legendary runs uh, mods for the legendary edition just yet. Because I wanted to see how it played normally first, and then I was going to use legendary mods. So, I wanted to actually try it out first, and then try some mods afterwards. Let's see. Wow. Not far from 15. Okay, I need to get the advanced unity. Mm -hmm. It's for legendary and they are the community patch. Gotcha. <clears throat> gotcha. All right. Okay, Major Kyle. Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see you. Ugh. The air community patch. Message coming in. Patch it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Cloud. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Go to the Stennis system in the Horsehead Nebula cluster and search for signs of Gareth's brother and his ship. Horsehead Nebula.
Stennis system in the Horsehead Nebula and search for signs of Gareth's brother and his ship. I think we already found some of that. <clears throat> I guess I found the pieces of what's his name ship. It fixes the travel issue and some other things. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh. Not the time. I'm a little.
All right. <clears throat> Well, cool, Revan. Thanks. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserve it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a specter. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Whoa! Just like that, buddy. <clears throat> oh, look at that health go up. 416 health. Buddy. And look at that paragon going up, up, up. I have to be at three quarters or higher by the end of the game. That's why I'm doing all this side quest shit, guys. Because I'm trying to raise that paragon. Para, para, paragon. Gotta be up there. High, high, high. It can't just be that my charm is maxed out. I gotta have crazy high paragon in order to keep the Krogan alive. Rex is worth keeping alive. It's just that simple. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see, what else we got here? There we go. There we are. Sparta system. Return to the Citadel Tower and inform him. <coughs> Three VI uh, core units. The conduits. Destroy the conduits in each of the three VI cores. Oh, that was only one of, okay, gotcha. Got to go back to Seoul and go to the moon. Because that was only one and I got to keep going to the uh, other two spots. Gotcha. 
as annoying as that is, I think I'd have to turn the the game off to do that, and I don't really want to turn the game off just yet. Got Liara here. Oh, it's all three of these, duh. It's every single stinking one of these. Okay. <sighs> Alright, later, Heathander. It's all of these. I'm so stupid. Duh.
Alrighty. Dang it. Uh, it's because I needed a freaking Yep, I should have taken Liara. I should have uh, I should have taken Tally because she had the higher decryption. At least for now.
Damage protection, improved immunity, and barrier ability, improves adrenaline ability. Improves damage with all weapons, improves immunity, improves marksman ability, improves assassination ability. There we go. Yeah, that's more me at the moment because I'm sniping efficiency. You're headed out. Later, man. Italians, Solarian ID tags, Asari writings, Prothean artifacts, Turian emblems, 10 out of 30, 13, light, me light metals, heavy metals, rare metals, gases, found all the gases that I need. Privateers, a man named Gareth asked you to look for his brother's missing ship in the Sternus system. Gareth's brother and his ship. I went to the Strena system in the Horsehead Nebula cluster, but I didn't see anything for his ship. Go to Zwanen. Aha. It's a day, it's a day, it's a day, it's a day, it's a day. Daylight come and they won't go home.
Alrighty. Mercenary camp, huh? Dude, there's a lot to go around. Okay. First off, let's get this.
60. Woo!
So, just return to the Citadel and turn some shit in. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck.
Ten hut! At ease. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not... I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits at element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Jesus Christ. What an ass. So, Liara, you've spent 50 years studying Prothean ruins and artifacts. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. Well, I think you've spoken for scientists everywhere, Liara. <laughs> I think you've spoken. <laughs> lengthier studies and fewer explosions. Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin Sin and Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would what you, you would you would you, would you, 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 you You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. 
Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've I'll got. I'll open the rare stocks for you.
Hey, there are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. The vids are all talking about commander, and they also say, hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but... You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember... Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. My history is a matter of public record. I've got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gangs? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. My gang days are over, Finch. Get out of my way. Suit yourself, Shepard. If you change your mind, he's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. And Shepard, you might not run with the Reds anymore, but you really don't want us as your enemies. here but not with you not now watching the show go 
go away. Let me, let me drink. <laughs> Can I help you? A human named Finch wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Wiseman. The xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard on his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. If you want humanity to be strong, a smear attack on the first human specter is a bad idea. The specter is right. This is humanity's chance to prove itself. There's even talk of earning a council seat. Of course you'd side with Shepard. You want someone who's in bed with your kind. We need the other races, Finch. That's the best way to strengthen humanity. Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of Spectre you turn out to be. Yeah. <laughs> Just about done. Got me some more Paragon for it, at least. Med clinic and then flux. Going to just about every location I can. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander.
man, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. Y he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course, nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Commander, thanks again for all your help. See another human in here. Hey there, welcome to Flex. I'm waiting for someone else. Okay, embassies first. <clears throat> Jesus. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive! The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted, transferred the funds to the account they specified. 
May they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I could search all over, uh, but that would take forever. So let's... Citadel Tower. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> That's right, he's in the Citadel Tower. Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? 
There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. There's Gareth. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say. Right? Please excuse me. She was I so need to innocent. go make arrangements for his funeral. <laughs> that's that's true. She was so innocent. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ally. Go to the Citadel's C-Sec and plant a bug. Okay. Alright, gotta plant a bug. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, chat, chat, chat away. I prefer to have an active chat, man. That's what I really held to have. Get me an active chat, please. The more of an active chat I have, the better. Also, gang, I, uh, once again would like to state that I have added new sound alerts, and, uh, I have added sound alerts for subscribers, uh, specifically only for subscribers, and I've added sound alerts that are now in the bits category, some that are four bits, and some that are zero bits, so, Good to see you, Commander. uh, there are some that are absolutely for free it's like hey you want to spend bits and it's like nah dude you'll have to spend bits try to make it where there's plenty of sound alerts that you guys can play around with I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. There we go.
Melee weapons, damage, burst. Increases damage with all weapons, improves immune ability, marksman, assassin. Okay. Commando, finesse, and then assault training will be shortly after that. Combat armor first increases squad healing. Okay. Yeah, I should probably work on first aid after that. After that, I should probably do squad healing, damage, weapon damage, adrenaline burst. Kohoku. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kohoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I've had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. Families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crew was found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines's ship in. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Jesus, level 17 already. See that, kids? And we're barely even started. Level 17, and I've barely even gotten through the story. Shells the Gambler, Asari Diplomacy. Okay, Artemis Tau Cluster, infiltrate the mercenary base. And that's basically how we gotta do this. Alright, that's it. Kids, that's basically it. Liara, if your people don't need implants to use biotics, how come Asari don't use biotics more often? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. Are you kidding? To have that ability without implants and choose not to learn? <laughs> I'll never understand the Asari. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. Commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. We... Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley... Stands... On my butt! Okay. interior pressure with exterior atmosphere logged the commanding officer is ashore exo presley has the deck stand by shore party decontamination in progress Whee! logged the commanding right, officer is aboard exo presley stands relieved I believe it was Artemis Tau. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. <laughs> just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. <laughs> Artemis Town, there we go. Okay, so journal Macedon system. Okay. Okay, Macedon system in the Artemis Tau cluster. Okay. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Gokul. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. 
something gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Yeah.
That's just hilarious, dude. Uh, 82. Wow, okay. So, yeah, dude. That sucks.
Galaxy System Voyager Cluster. Been through. Young Sea System Voyager Cluster. You! Research facility, research facility, anomaly, research facility, debris. Dude, seriously? This is a hill. There's a difference.
looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. We... Yep. This is my kind of mission. Thank you. 
82, Jesus, yep, we're about to hit level 18, yep, we're about to hit level 18, and the crazy part is, still haven't even begun the story, not really. to get Kahoku some payback. Shepard, over there. It's Admiral Kahoku. I guess Cerberus found him after all.
head to Neferon in the Columbia system on the Voyager cluster and destroy it. Columbia system, Neferon, Columbia system, Voyager cluster. Major cluster, Neferon. Columbia system. Okay, so say, just move one over. Gotcha. Thank you. 
Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're gonna want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kohoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kohoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. I'll transmit the files. I knew you were a reasonable man, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Uh, that is one of the few uh, things that I will do renegade-wise, because straight up, Making sure that those end up in the Shadow Breaker's hands in the next game will serve to my benefit because I know who the Shadow Broker will become by the end of that game. And making sure those end up in the next Shadow Broker's hands will serve only to my benefit. Because that only makes things better for me. Woo! Alright. This is going to be the last thing I do, and then I'm going to head out for the evening. Thank you guys so much. Oh yeah, the Shadow Broker DLC is the best, dude. Also, CJ, thank you for so much for showing up and hanging out. Appreciate it. The more active you are in the chat, though, uh, the happier I am. Like, while I do appreciate the views and the lurking, you know, I love an active chat. I love chatting with you guys. I love interacting with you. I love hanging out with you guys. So, I actually have more fun just interacting with you guys. Hanging out, you know? So, yeah. You're listening while working overnight. Gotcha. So, yeah. Equalizing interior The more active my chat is, the better. Atmosphere. As far as I'm concerned. Logged. The commanding officer is ah! ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. <laughs> Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD.
All right, turn this thing into her, get my experience going, and then I'm going to bed, man. Because damn, I am tired. Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? Dahlia's dead, and I know she was blackmailing you. So the truth comes out. I hope you're not angry. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. I would have helped if you just told me the truth. Perhaps you're right. I am sorry. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits, but I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> what a piece of work. Oh yeah, let's uh, what was I, oh yeah, 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 first aid interface yes commander is there something I can do for you let me take a look at what you have for sale of course
Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Commander, I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I've got a lot going on right now, but... Great! With so many... What if you signed me on as another Spectre? Conrad, I don't think that's a good but idea. But I'd make a... I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups. Conrad, I... you're not Spectre material, even if I had that kind of pull. Oh, so just because I'm not some hotshot... Well, you're not the only one who can stand up... Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see.
Yes, human. You need something, yes? Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Okay, I need to find the big stupid jellyfish. And then I go to sleep. And that's that. I'm prepping for my birthday because I was born at 3.15 in the morning. So, I'm going to stay up till that time on Monday. <laughs> and that'll be that. Uh, where's the big stupid Hanar? I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives! What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. 
This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Well, that wasn't easy. Pimpin ain't easy, but it show is fun. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Quarian, Turian, Krogan, Turian, Turian, Quarian. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Exoskeleton genetics. Uh, let's see. Armor upgrade. Uh, exoskeleton. Commander, it show me your good. items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human.
So I can wear light human armor. Okay. For Liara. Now she's got some better protection. Okay. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Seasick. Headed back to the ship. Get on the ship. Save. Good night. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Should probably get uh... Stand by shore party. Decontamination for progress. Before I forget, because I will forget. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the standby shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. There we are. Guys, thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next one. Have yourselves a lovely evening. 
and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, and bye-bye for now. Oh, bye-bye!